Hey guys, hope you are doing well. We are ready for the 57th reading. We are in Judges, let's see, 5 through 7 on this recording. And this is a continued version with our new format. We're sticking with answering the question, how can we avoid anger in our own life and depression and instead develop a true, heartfelt, humble courage? Um, I want to say again, thanks for the feedback from last week. Found a new way to stick with uh, five minutes is I have an off button on myself. <laughs> I could just hit stop. And if um, if uh, there's still more to go, then it'll be to be continued. That's why we're doing this today. So right at four minutes, I will stop. We will pray and we will call it good. Um, how can we avoid anger? Uh, how can we avoid avoid depression. You know, we as men, we're, we're challenged with, with some specific things more than others. And two of them are uh, some form of anger and some form of depression. Instead, we want to have humble courage. Um, bigger, bigger picture that we're getting from judges is how can a holy God work with us? How can he deal with us? How can he relate to us? Specifically, how can a holy God love an unholy People. This is the question that drives Old and New Testament alike. Old Testament says, how does it happen? We find out on the cross, it resolves that question. And the rest of the New Testament is proclaiming it's really true. Don't forget it. Look back to the cross. Don't get back into works, even in the New Testament. Uh, we read chapter two, verses one through five, where God says, I loved you. I, I will love you according to the covenant, but you have broken the covenant. And we're left with Tim Keller's question. Will God unconditionally love the people even though they disobey him? Or will he punish them? Will he disavow them? Will he destroy them? Because we find out sin is not just a little thing. It is death. It is darkness. And Judges gives us a healthy dose. Is there a better way? How can a holy God love an unholy people? Here it is. Our holy God keeps his covenant with us, even though we disobey because of this. Jesus kept the covenant for us. It was an, un, it was a, an atoning sacrifice, a great exchange. Jesus exchanges our guilt for his obedience. And he calls us by faith in Christ that we do not need to be depressed. We don't need to be angry. We don't need to have pride. We can have humble courage because God works with us, not because of us, but in spite of us. That's why Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Rethink all of this. Quit thinking the way of, of the world, the flesh, and the devil, where you say, you've got to earn it. Every single um, uh, major religion, every single religion out there says, earn your way into God's pleasure. Only Christianity says, even though you're unholy, you can trust in one his, who has obeyed for you. And God can work with us by faith through grace. It's an amazing thing. He is both just, he's a holy God, and he's a justifier because of Jesus Christ. Repent. Think differently, have faith, trust in him, not in yourselves, and that you don't have to beat up yourself and you don't have to beat up others because you're going, I can't believe it is so good. So our challenge is, uh, oh, oh, this is, we're coming up on four minutes. I'm going to put a link. Guys, jump, try, here's a challenge, jump into um, um, the word of promise link that I'll give on YouTube to listen to the book of Judges. Uh, I'll put some more information on the um, on the Facebook post, but uh, um, it's a dramatized version of the New King James Version. I want to respect all of your um, uh, uh, devotion to whatever version that you prefer. This is New King James. It's dramatized. Wow. Judges dramatized. Amazing. Dear Father, I ask you to please bless each man that's listening and following along in this project. Give them humble courage, Lord. Deliver us from discouragement. Deliver us from pride. Help us, Lord, to know um, that we stand by grace and uh, through faith we can trust in you, not in ourselves, but in you. And that gives us a both a, a humility to know uh, you love us in spite of us and a courage. 
you're still working with us. We're not alone. Bless these men in their homes, churches, and businesses. And it's in uh, Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a good one.